Lastly, I want to look at a kind of summarization of how these different methods of looking at quadratics tie in with their graphs. So let's start with factoring and the quadratic equation. What I see is that if I have a parabola, actually let's move this off the center line. So this parabola has its vertex here. with a line of symmetry and we also see that we have two roots. And these are our horizontal intercepts. What's really important is to break down this quadratic equation. The x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Because we find that the negative b over 2a is our line of symmetry. So this line of symmetry occurs at x equals negative b over 2a. This is also where we would define our vertex, which is our max or min point. So to find the vertex, we plug in that value of x into our function to find the output. So the vertex is always at negative b over 2a comma f of negative b over 2a, that ordered pair. And that vertex, remember, is our max or min point. We then see that the second part of the equation is the distance of our roots from the line of symmetry. So this distance and this distance are both the value of b squared minus 4ac rooted all over 2a, which is why we have a plus or minus, because we need to move to both the right of the line of symmetry and the left of the line of symmetry. So know this. This is one of the big ideas for this section, and that's how the quadratic equation ties in with the graph of a parabola. We have already seen how a factored form, so if we were to factor out into x plus a, let's make this x minus a, x minus b, that this quadratic then has roots at a0 and b0. And that's how the factoring ties in with our graph. But more important and more complex is how the quadratic equation ties in with our graph. We've also seen that with completing the square, if we're able to complete the square, and we get it into this general form, then our vertex is at a comma b. And that does it for quadratic equations. A helpful little hint when you're working through the problems, you will have a couple of max and min problems. That's basically finding the vertex of your parabola.